Okay, we're at OTC Homecoming in Dublin. Uh, I'm with the man, definitely the match of the night. Uh, Mike Bailey, first of all, what a match. Fairly unlucky not to get the win. Well, what a match. Thank you. I, you know, it's a frustrating, it feels like drowning when you're trying your best and you're like, you're actually kicking a man in the head several times, yet he still manages to like, just throw you around like a baby. It's insane. It is. He's, he's a big man. You've been involved with OTT uh, a few times. What's it like to get back to Ireland and uh, see that awesome crew because they love you? Man, I don't know why. Every time I go to OTT, it's always special. Like, there's something about being here that makes me want to just go beyond what I normally do and yeah. just, just go crazy. I don't know what's happening in the air. Definitely. Now, Joe from OTT, there was a Q&A at the start. He reckoned you're the guy that's going to make it to the big time next. Obviously, you're doing so well, but he reckoned you're the guy that will be the major name in the wrestling force in the next year or two. What do you think of that? It's, it's, it's a great compliment from Joe himself. Well, I hope it happens. But again, those are all very abstract concepts when you talk about wrestling. What is, what is making it? What are... What well, are I, I, I think Joe, he's basically maybe new to Pamper Wrestling, WWE. I think that's because some guys said, you know, you've got a great roster, Joe. Um, you know, who, who are the guys that will, will be the, the names that will never be forgotten, basically? Hmm. And, and Joe reckons you're going to be the guy that name will be remembered in a hundred years' time. So that's, that's it's a compliment I'd like. Yeah, I mean, that would be nice. It's a goal, but I have so many other goals in wrestling that are very distant right now, but they will come. They will come. Right, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.